guys, today's makeup tutorial is going to be for a mermaid. I'm sorry I haven't made one in a little while, but I've been ill. I've got tonsillitis and it's gradually going away, but um, hopefully it's going to be better soon. I'm feeling more up to filming. So this is going to be a mermaid. I don't really know what I'm doing for this, but I'm going to wing it. I want to have like tealy colours and pretty glittery blues and shimmer and scales and highlight. I'm going to be nice and glowy. So to begin with I want to prime my skin and I want my skin to be nice and glowy as I said, dewy and wet looking. So for that I'm actually going to use my Le Magique by L'Oreal and I'm going to take quite a lot of this. I've got three pumps on there which is quite a lot and I'm just going to apply that mainly to the high points of my face but whatever's left on the sponge will go kind of all over. Next I'm going to add quite a dewy foundation, so this is the Illuminating Touch Foundation by Collection. It's got a little pump on it and I'm going to add like three pumps of this because I want really flawless, beautiful skin. Oh my god, I absolutely love this foundation, but it does oxidise a bit on me and even though this is a light shade, it's ever slightly too dark for me, especially when it oxidises. Next I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to use my Isla Blonde Pop Palette learn to speak, parmade, and um, just do them as I would normally, so a little bit ombre in the inner corner, nice and defined. I'm just going to conceal and sharpen up these lines. So on the lids we're going to start to lay down some colour and I want teals for this so I'm going to go into my Sugar Pill Sweetheart palette and I'm going to mix this blue with some of this green to make the perfect colour that I want. So if I feel it's a little bit too blue I'm going to add some green and vice versa. So I'm going to take that onto the lids to begin with. Then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just try and blend that quite soft. To blend up with, I want a bit of a minty greeny blue, so I'm going to use what's this, an MUA Poptastic palette. There's a few shades in there I think I'm going to mix, so this blue here, maybe some of this blue, a bit of this green. I'm using that fluffy brush again, I'm just using that up here. So when I've got that, I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush again and just feather those edges soft. To highlight, I want a really bright matte white highlight. I will probably add some shimmer, but I want it to be primarily very white. So I'm going to go into this palette from Sugar Pill again and just use the white. But I feel like bright white just goes really nicely with blue. This is kind of a sea foam colour to the sea. the inner corners I'm going to take the exact same colour on a thin pencil brush and we're going to add that in there. I want it really white in those inner corners as well, like really pack that white. Right now we're going to add a little bit of depth, so this is a palette from Revlon. This is the Wild Savage Sauvage, Suavage. it's number 587. I've don't know English language, it's fine. I'm going to use this colour here, which is a dark teal. I'm going to just deepen the outer corners with that. Before we add any shimmer or sparkle, I'm actually going to line the top waterline, do a nice big wing with my Kat Von D Trooper Tattoo Eyeliner. Okay, so I put my wings on, they're a little bit dodgy, so it's fine because we're going to put glitter on and we're going to even it out a little bit. So I'm going to start with this glitter by collection, it's the Glam Crystals one, this is in POW number 10. And I'm just going to line this along that edge of my liner, and then I'm going to add a little bit more glitter and I'm going to show you I've got these amazing press glitters from a company, which are the bomb and I'm loving them in a minute so I'm going to just correct this a little bit if you see if I close my eyes it's a little bit shaky there I'm 
And then I'm just going to start to blend some of that up from that wing. Now the product I was going to tell you about, these are glitters and this is my own palette that I put them in but these are pressed glitters by the company called Prima Makeup and they are just gorgeous like look at these this one here perfect for this look it's tealish color and there's also this one here which is perfect this one's called i think mermaid tails so i'm going to take them you can take them on your finger which is awesome but i'm going to use a small brush for this so i'm going to take some of this one here to begin with this teal color look at that like this and just add that I'm just going to use my finger to help blend that and that works so much easier for blending so you can apply with the brush if you want it in a more precise location because I couldn't really apply it with my finger against this wing and then just use my finger to blend that so for these you don't need any adhesive, you don't need any glues these will just stay on their own so before I put any of the other colour on, I'm actually going to work on the bottom. So I'm just going to clean this a little bit with a wet wipe to remove any like excess makeup that I don't want there. I'm then going to go in and conceal with my Collection Lasting Perfection, yeah, concealer. For underneath, I'm going to use the same colours, so the blue and the green from the Sugar Pill palette, some of the dark colours and the minty colours from the MUA palette, and just create... The same kind of colour scheme but on the bottom. Then right up against the lash line I'm going to use that teal. I'm going to add a little bit more of that matte white to the inner corners. To even it all out and join it up. As I say I'm going to go quite extreme on the very inner tear duct area. So it's really white, and same up here, I want to be very white as well. Okay, so I'm going to go with this glitter from Prima Makeup now, which has got um, teal and lilac and pink pieces of glitter in it. This I'm going to take right in here. When I've applied that, I'm just going to take my finger. I'm basically going to look like the most glittery person that ever lived. So we're going to finish up the eyes now and add our false eyelashes. So we're going to curl. We're going to use Benefit Roller Lash on the eyelashes. And then I'm going to use the Jadine Eyelo Lashes on my eyes. And I love these ones super much because they are not really long. They're more thick and full and wispy than like overly long and fake looking. Just love them so much, but they're super glam as well. For the waterline, I think I'm just going to use a nude colour, light nude. So I always use the Benefit It stick, and it's not necessarily meant for the waterline or anything, but it's not not meant for it either. It's kind of a concealer stick, yeah, concealer stick camouflage. So I'm going to camouflage my dark waterline and brighten that shit up. I don't really know where to go with this, whether to contour just regular colours and then add the pretty colours over the top. I think I'm going to, so I'm going to use my Deep Glow from Barry M. Just to lightly contour, I'm not going to go over the top, it's just going to be something underneath our like mermaidy scale areas. Next I'm going to use my face powder, which is the Rimmel Stay Matte Face Powder, and just set my under eyes with a foundation brush. Then it's going to take some of that on the same brush I use in my bronzer, and just help to blend everything together seamlessly. Okay, so I'm going to try and add some scales to the skin now, and I'm going to do the technique that everyone does. I kind of wanted to avoid this a little bit, but all the other times I tried to do this look, it didn't look mermaidy enough, and I feel like the scales is the best way to make it look mermaidy. I'm going to take a very pink blush. This one's from Tarte, and it's called Entertain. I'm going to add quite a bit of that to my cheeks. I'm going to take some of my nose as well. Take some up here. Get on the chin. 
gonna look crazy like this. But I can hardly blink and my eyelashes are like Ugh. I'm gonna use a small brush to make sure it's really precise. I'm gonna go into some of that green colour. That shimmery colour and just start to press this in. I'm actually going to switch to this brush and wheel techniques. Or a highlighter from Urban Decay. Take a nice amount of that right along the top. I hope to god this is in focus guys. I'm okay, going to take a little bit on the nose as well. And then I'm going to just pray. For the lips, I'm going to use a black liquid lipstick from Lime Crime. So whilst waiting for the lips to dry, we're going to add a little bit more detailing and I've got some pearls which are going to be perfect for this look. So I'm going to add some of those pearls and I've got some lash glue here, which is just one of the brush on ones by Duo. It's awesome. We're going to add some right here. Okay, so when I'm finally done with that, I'm going to take a little bit of the Aura colour on my finger and just take that over the centre of the lips. And then I'm just going to use a clean fluffy brush just to make sure that's nice and soft. I'm just going to bring that black a little bit more down into there. 